Hello, welcome to Val's Crafty Creations. Today, I'm super excited to share with you a couple projects I've been working on. This last week, two of my Facebook swap groups partnered up their Christmas swaps, and I decided to sign up for four swaps. Feeling a little overwhelmed, I thought I'd dive in this weekend and pick two and figure out how I could get going on them. Generally, I work on one swap at a time, finish that, get that sent out. Starting with the Christmas tag, I went through my stash and I looked in my Christmas papers and I found this beautiful paper someone had gifted me last year and that was just a few different sheets and I thought, well, they're pretty. And I think that's a poinsettia there. Um, checking out both sides and it turned out they gave me two of each sheet so that was great lots of options there I thought about the wood grain found the paper that had the Christmas writing on it I thought that was really pretty so instead of the paper having poinsettias on it I went ahead and just picked this random die cut that it was in my stash and the green paper and the plaid paper and just started building with that. I had these silk poinsettias in my stash, so I decided to add that. Last year I got these leaves from Michaels, and I had some berries, and I ended up deciding to twine up here, and then um, I, when they got all done, I thought, whoa, oh, that new trim from Dollar Tree would be perfect on here use this lace I've had in my stash for quite a long time and berries and then some gems and I thought well it needs some texture oh and for this swap we could make the tag any size we wanted so I just started building and layering and I guess it ended up I thought it needed a bead dangle here I would twine the Dollar Tree trim that I put here. I originally cut it too short, but that worked out because I have all the same ribbons and lace that are down at the bottom. I have up here at the top. My snow text. I was so excited about that. And I needed a little gold glitter glue from Michaels. And I, I thought more gold, so I got my thread from from Michaels. Um, I needed a center for my flower. I had these little silk flowers in my stash for quite a long time. So yeah, so I love this trim. Glad I was able to at least get one of those. And I'm not sure what my goodies are going to be, but I did have a poinsettia bag in my stash, so I'll have it on there. I did create a paper that I can back it with, so I'll be wrapped there in some tissue. And then I'll probably share some of the thread and baker's twine and probably the Dollar Tree trim. And then I'll have, I have one of these little bunches I can share. So I guess that started with that. And then I had all the little bits and pieces left over from tearing the paper. So I, oh, and, and I had the vellum left over from the little mini album. So I put some of that on there. But, yeah, I think it came out really, really pretty. I like it. I, it's been a, quite a while since I've done any tags, so I thought I'm just going to go big and add lots of layers. So that's pretty much ready to go there. And then I started working on the Twinchies. So I had this collection here. And it, I had made several tags with that last year, so I had all the bits and pieces in here start playing around with those and then I realized that it came with this uh, sheet of cut aparts that were one inch squares so I th started working with that and I went, oh no I have to make them two inch squares so but I got them all cut out ready to go started playing around laying them out picking out which ones I wanted and then had to take a little break and I came back and I couldn't remember which ones I had picked out so but I just laid it out and started picking and choosing but on that I also used my little red bling that I had got in a swap 
And I found these, because it's a small scale project, I wanted to make sure I had some little stickers of some sort to add on. So I have those. And then I wanted to go kind of with a little bit of black, so I found these stickers, and I barely touched these, and they start to peel off, so well, it's time to use those. And then as my base for my twinchies, I thought, well, I'll use this Christmas embossed paper from Michaels. Um, I haven't used very much of that, but I figured I would start. <laughs> and then, oh, and I have this little sheet of enamel dots in my stash, and pretty much all used up, so well, I'm going to use that. And I wanted to put them in a bag, of course. Well, I uh, tried this and they, they won't fit, but this, so I'll come up with some goodies and that'll be my goodie bag. So we were to create six. So I have three on a green background and and three on a red background. So the first one here, uh, tis the season, some of the brown paper, some of the vellum paper and the gems. A little present here. They're all backed on cardboard. And then just layered up the each of the sentiments, little cut aparts are popped up. So I said I'm really happy about how they turned out. This one here, the little Santa. We wish you a Merry Christmas. These the car back paper in the background and a little strip of the green from the tag. Gems. Oh, I had this red mesh ribbon. A little bit of that there. And then here's the with the enamel dots on it to enjoy. A little snowman scene here with the tree paper. Some of the lace here on the background and popped up. And then on the red ones here, it, uh, oh, I forgot about the little red polka dot ribbon here. Just a little, I had a little bit of that. A little bit of the brown paper with the gingerbread on it. Uh, traditions, because we were baking. A little bit of black twine. Actually, yeah, that, oh, I forgot that, because it's all gone. <laughs> That uh, yeah, I just had just a tiny bit of black twine left from what I used in the my mini album, so I just used that the rest of the twine up on this project to bring in the black right here. Enamel dots, December twenty fifth. A little bit of the vellum, a little red mesh. Yep, and then a little scrap of the brown paper on this one. Warm Wishes, little cocoa cup, little snowman, black twine here. Just tied them all together with the red lace trim there. Bling. Yep, and like I said, all on um, cardboard, nice and thick. And then, because I kind of had in my mind that I was going to do an inchy, I created one here for the on the bag topper, and here's the rest of the black twine. Just wrapped around. Paper from the collection, and uh, this is popped up, double popped up actually. Popped up paper from the collection. Yep, like I said, I like how those all came out. I just have white background so that they pop up. <laughs> and I'll just put those on with the glue dot. But very happy on how those came out. So, those are my two projects that I completed this last weekend. And the next one is. Christmas embellishments. I have received my envelope from my swap partner, so I'll go ahead and get working on those, and then I'll share all that when I when I'm all done. And then the other one is a just a fun little swap to you fill a six by nine envelope with some red, green, or Christmas themed goodies. And I know my partner has sent the package off to me, so I'm gonna get working on that one. And I will share that when it's all done. Well, I appreciate you stopping by Val's Crafty Creations today. Checking out my Christmas twinchies and my Christmas poinsettia themed tag. I sure had a lot of fun this weekend getting these all created. I'm going to go ahead and gather up my goodies and get them off to my swap partner. You take care and we'll catch you again soon for another crafty video.